Yo, what's going on guys, welcome back. And today I'll be talking about these buys and also these sells right here and how to play ping pong while trading like this. So I didn't send these sells into the Discord, but I sent these buys right here. Check the, uh, uh, check the number on the right side, it's 4, 8. And here, uh, let me show you, it's, it's also... 4 8 on the right side as you can see so yeah i'll be going over how i caught these cells how i caught these buys and then yeah, let's let's get into it i will remove everything again from the chart like this and yeah so first of all i started on a daily and also let me remove this this is for the course that i'm making for private members on this course and yeah, so first of all, we tap into the higher time frame demand on the daily. So I'm expecting a long term buys right here. So let me remove this too. <coughs> so if you know about liquidity, I will probably make video about advanced liquidity. All these highs right here are only to induce people to sell, but the buys will take over because on the higher time frame, buys are basically stronger than cells in this case so see we will have <coughs> some reaction from the supply but eventually buys will take over like this and it's happening on every supply zone we can see so see little reaction and buys will take over so that's exactly what i did right here i went to the daily and see this py week this is a few week i will make videos about a few weeks it's very very nice concept and yeah then i went one hour so i can refine the py mm -mm -mm. where is it right here so i refine it to this py like this and also in these weeks this is beautiful py this is a few week it swept liquidity on the left side like this so this is probably the best py you can have it also with area of filling so perfect and yeah i just waited for price to come into the py like this <coughs> and on the way up i see that we are forming wyckoff distribution right here as you can see we have buyers climax automatic rally secondary test up trust and he here into the py we have up trust after distribution taking out this low on the left which means change of character uh, like this so let me mark the Wyckoff out also so this is buyer's climax this real quick buyer's climax automatic rally if you don't know what I'm talking about right now if you don't know about Wyckoff make sure to check one of my previous video I made a really quick really simple video about Wyckoff from A to Z from everything you need to know very very simple so it should help you in the long term and yeah Wyckoff is very simple people are making it so complicated but yeah so we had Wyckoff inside of PY we had change of character and we know that the market is going to sell off but not in the long term because as we know that we are in bullish market at the moment so we can expect some kind of sell into here for example and then take out the market higher so what i wanted to do is basically switch to one hour on the one hour we need to mark our latest break of structure to the upside then we're gonna take fips put it from the bottom to the upside and we need to look for buys anything below the 50 percent is valid so we're gonna look or POIs below the 0 0.5 in that area <coughs> and right here I can see beautiful POI with doji there's also area of filling very very important stuff for POIs and right here on the left side I can see another one doji with area of filling so I'm gonna mark it out I'll make this one also blue and area of filling like this beautiful simple stuff you know what I'm saying and yeah I had these two POIs where I can be looking for take profit one 
and take profit too from these cells that I'm gonna take like this and then take the market higher because on a hard time frame we are clearly in bullish market so I just switch to uh, uh, I think it was 30 minute or 15 on 15 minute we can see that we have this wick right here and we can look for cells because the Wyckoff is confirmed right at this point after we take the low that Uptrust created. This is Uptrust and this is the low that this high created. So we need to take out this low on the left. And <coughs> here we need to just look for some kind of POI around this. I think I went on 15 minutes, which is this week. Went on 30 minutes this week beautiful and well, let me also go like this this is beautiful week i'm going to three minute on three minute is there anything mm -mm -mm. Mm, nah. probably not so i just waited and took this 30 minute week and yeah just waited for price to come into the zone let me switch to 4H because it will take some time. And yeah, once we started creating liquidity on both sides, right here and also right here, I knew that the market needs to make double sweep. So I'm expecting something like this. Then push down and then push up. Very, very simple stuff. So we're gonna wait, wait, wait. All right, right now we are sweeping the liquidity on the upside like this. And yeah, we just need to wait until the market comes into our POI, which is right exactly here. And then we can look for confirmation from that POI. Come on, come on. All right, we tap into the POI and right now we are gonna be looking for some kind of confirmation so if you look at i'm going to five minute it will think it's looking much much cleaner oh, three minute yeah three minute is beautiful so again we have the same confirmation that we have on a one hour if you look right here this is beautiful wyckoff right here and in this three minute py we also have beautiful wyckoff right at this point so we have buyers climax automatic rally Secondary test, uptrust, sign of weakness, uptrust after distribution. Then we had change of character right in this zone. <coughs> right in the zone, like this. And yeah, I just set limits on this whole move to the upside because we have buy to sell weeks and also we have this PY at the top. So I don't want to miss the price either coming back into these weeks only and then drop. Or coming right here and then dropping so I just want to have only one entry instead of two entries so the SL is a little bit bigger but the risk reward is very nice to be honest with you if you look at one hour we targeted this is take profit one this is take profit two so that's 37 risk reward and then yeah, we can look for entry right here and then we can also have another re-entry if the market give, gives us something clean all right it's uh, perfectly into this py right here yeah beautiful so yeah this is the first entry and also right here we have high low lower high lower low so we can easily expect price come back into here and give us another re-entry and yeah we can just stack re-entries until we get into the py at the bottom for buys so this is the first entry this can be the other entry i didn't do this other entry i only took this one so yeah see first take profit can be this low and then the second profit can be the higher time frame demand zone if it comes down let me see all right all right 
I see beautiful so these two trades are the sells and also you can look for buys from these areas I always want to have the bottom ones marked out because from the bottom ones you can expect a very very impulsive move to the upside from here we can have something like this and just slowly coming up so that's why I like this the most because it's better for mindset because the price will just take you in and just fly so this is beautiful we're gonna wait for price to come back into the second py right here so this is the first take profit I didn't bought from this py because I wasn't at charts but I bought from this one so let me clean this so we have a little bit reaction from this one and once I saw that we are making these equal highs at the top I knew that this low will fail and right now we are going to for the next py because if we tap into this py we shouldn't be making these equal highs like this is not correct price action so anyone who was in these buys I told them to close the buys because this is not the right market or price action so yeah I just set limits on here like this uh, check yeah set limits on here you, you can check the price on the right side 4800 4800 and I just targeted these equal highs and also this high at the top and yeah that's basically it guys I think price came in came into it and just flew off as I said before yeah beautiful this, this this is the price action that we should be looking at when price came into valid POI not something like this this is not correct guys if you see price doing this you wanna exit the trade because this is the correct one the price just shoot through the take profit it was around this one was let me check 30 risk to world and this one was 13 if you held the second one this one was 37 but yeah hey guys so let me go over a quick recap so we have for example bullish market so we only want to be looking for buys but once we tap into these supply zones like this we always have some kind of reaction so that's exactly what I did I waited for Wyckoff in this zone like this then I sell from this py into the our py on the right side on the left side right here take profit and then I just entered the buys right here targeted this high at the left because as we know we are in bullish market and this is the trend so we are expecting <coughs> this higher low take out this higher high because we are in bullish market so the high is weak and that's it make sure to give like subscribe comment and next week i'll be opening the discord so if you want to join right now i got only like three people in here very close friends to me and i'll be opening it for real because a lot of people dm me on instagram that they want to join it so yeah guys make sure to stay tuned and see you at the next one bye